Okay, Bobby Canoop starts the top of the fourth inning. 33. 33 is a seven. That is a single to right field. So, Canoop's on. Canoop is a regular runner, so we're not too worried about him. Buck Rogers, catcher. 50. Two. 52 is a 27. I forgot to turn the runner on first base. 27 is, um, we use an individual fielding rating here. Trzuski's at third base today. His rating is three. So we use the fielding three column for a 27. Out at first, runner to second. Um, it's going to be, but it is going to end up being a strikeout with low league pitching. That's an X. So, but just to um, see the difference, fielding column three, we just get a runner. We get the runner at first, and the guy advances to second. But for fielding column two, if your uh, third baseman was a one ranking better, um, we would have had a force out at second base, and. If we had a field, if we had a really good third baseman, they would have turned a double play. So there's a great example of what uh, using advanced the effect that advanced fielding can have on some of the results here in APBA. You go from just a ground out with the runner moving to second to a force out to a double play. Pretty big difference here. So let's see, that's an out. To the third baseman, and the runner goes to second. All right. So we got a runner on second base. And a radio with a chance to drag him in. Radio, let's see what he does. He rolls a 44. 44 is a 7. Wow, 7 is a single to right. Runner scores. So... Angels moving the lead four to two. Rodriguez on first, one out. We'll have Brunette try to go sacrifice him to second. See if they can pick up another run here. A 63 is a 13. That's a strike. Try to have him try to bunt again. A 16 on Brunette is a 28. Let's go see what we got here. 28 is out of first runner to second. So we got a successful sacrifice bunt um, to second base. That's Devlio up with uh, Rodriguez on second base. 16. 16 is a 28. A 28 is a ball to the shortstop. He's rated a 1. 28 is... Um, oh, we got a runner on second here, sorry. 28 is out of first, 6-3. That's three outs for the Angels, but they pick up another run and now lead 4-2. And starts the bottom of the fourth off for the Tigers. 50... Three is a 15. Okay, so it's one of those numbers for the uh, unusual or the uh, yeah unusual play chart. Um, no, 50, I mean error chart. 15 is on here, so we roll the dice again. 66, 66 here is a 20. So a 20 is a number that is used for fielding here. It involves a second baseman who's rated a 1. A 20 is still an uh, error on Canoop at second base. And it's like that all the way across the chart, so this had no effect on for the advanced fielding. So, reach first on error. Canoop. So, Tigers have the lead runner on in the bottom of the fourth. Jim Northrup. 
33 is a six. Six is a double over first, runner to third, F scores. I don't, yeah, freehand's fast this year, so. Freehand was fast, so Northrop doubles in freehand to make the score um, four to three. And up comes Ray Euler with a man on second base and nobody out. Got a single last time. 35. 35 is a 13. Of course, that is a strikeout. See if Lolich can help himself here. One away. Uh, 32. 32 is a 26. 26. That's the second baseman. He's a fielding column one. 26 is out at first, runner to third. And that's the same way all the way across also. Uh, so a runner is out on the ground ball to second base, and the runner goes to third. So two outs. Tigers one hit away from tying this game up with McAuliffe at the plate. 50. Five is an eight. Let's see what we get here. Runner on third base. An eight with a B pitcher is a fly out to right field. But the Tigers get back one run after four innings. Angels four, Tigers three. See, leads off the top of the fifth. A 35 is 14. He leads off with a base on balls. Remember, 14 are base on balls most of the time. Next up is Rick Reichart, who has struck out twice so far this game. 45. 45 is a 14. Um, 14 is a base on balls, unless I have a Z pitcher, and I'm pretty sure that Lolich wasn't. Oh yes, XZ. I had XY, so he's XZ. Excuse me, let me correct that. Kind of hard to write one-handed film and do everything. Okay, so the Z in this case just means two balls uh, on the current batter. So we re-roll. Oh, and he gets an 11. That's a 4. A 4 is, un is a triple to left. Wow. So, 5 to 3. Now, that is the fifth earned run in a three consecutive inning. And then, according to your rules, that drops Low H down one pitching grade. So he now becomes a C. Um, I'm going to see if he can get out of here. I'm going to leave him in um, for now because the relief pitcher I think I'm thinking of bringing in is a C also. So um, here we go. Runner on third. Infield's in, though, for Bubba Martin. Nobody out. 64. All right, look at that. 64 is a 13, and that is a strikeout. One away. Chuck Hinton. 41. 41 is a 24. A 24 is we use fielding column two. Um, batter safe at first. Runner out at home. Look at that. And the infield wasn't even playing in. This is just one of those where they get him at home. 6-2. Uh, so we have two outs. Run around first. Lolich may get out of here. Two outs. Canoe up to bat. Run around first base. Ooh, a 33. 33 is a 7. Single to right. Runner to third. Tag still... Sticking with Lolich here. Try to get through this inning. Runner 
Niners on first and third, two away, and Buck Rogers. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to, um, no, nope, can't do that. I was going to intentional walking, but I, because I thought the pitcher was next at bat, but he's not. So here we go. 23. 23 is a 27. 27 for Detroit is Trzuski at third is a three. So we go to the third column, but it's still out at first. Um, five, three. Oh, white pitcher, but he's not a white pitcher. Okay, so five, three. So another run, and the score is now five to three after four and a half innings. Stanley still at bat, one away. 53 is a 17. Here comes the error chart in. 17 is one of the numbers that we re-roll for. That is a 21. 21 becomes a 15. 15 on column number two is a single to left field. Uh, no, 15, I'm sorry. 15 is uh, is one of the numbers. We go over here to the advanced fielding uh, result chart, or the charts that I've made, and we use column three. In this case, 15 is first and second on the error by the left fielder. Um, or column two was a single to left, and 15 was a flyout. So there's another great example of how um, individual fielding can come into play uh, versus just using basic fielding. So we got a runner on second now with only one away on a two base error. K line at the plate. That is a 45. 45 is a 20. 29. No, 40. Oh, where am I reading here? Come on, man. 45 is 14. 14 is a base on ball. Batter takes first. So first and second, the Tigers trying to make a little comeback here. Runners on first and second, and Willie Horton. Checking Stanley on second is fast, and K-Line's just a regular runner, so nothing to worry about on the base pass. 34. 34 is a 31 for California. 31, their center fielder, is a 1, so we use column 1. 31 is just a fly out to center fielder. The runners hold. Two away. Leaves it up to Bill Freehand. Rolls a 64. You can tell my voice, I know that's not good. 64 is a 13 and a strikeout. Oops. Three outs for the tags. After five, the score is five to three. Okay, the Tigers have brought in uh, a relief pitcher, Fred Lasher. He's a C, C Y. So here we go, top of the sixth. Rodriguez up. 61 is a 24. 24 is under the infield fielding uh, numbers, which is a 2. 24 is out at first to the shortstop. One away. Pitcher Brunette doing a good job so far for the for the Angels. 42 is a 13. We know 13 is a strikeout. Two up, two down. And we got Mr. Davilio. 46. 46 is a 32. A 32, our right fielder Northrop's rated a 2, so we use fielding column 2, and that's going to be, we know, a fly ball to the right fielder Northrop, of course. Okay, 3 up, 3 down. Freehand leads off the bottom of the 6th. 25 is an 8. An 8 against a B pitcher is a fly out to the center fielder. One away. Jim Northrop, the great. 
fox. Silver fox. Silver fox, wasn't it? And the gray fox. 55. 55 is a 7. 7 grade B is a single to right field. So we have a runner on first. He's a fast runner. Okay, with Euler on first, one out, and a pitcher up, last year's up, we're going to do a pinch hitter for the Tigers, and that's going to be Eddie Matthews. Runner on first base. Here we go. 13. 13 is a 14. That is a base on balls because um, Brunette is not a Z, so Matthews does his job. Gets on base. Matthews is a slow runner, so we'll play him safe. Runners on first and second one away. McCullough's up. 44 is an 8. An 8 is under a B pitcher, is out at first, but the runners advance. So 5 3. Runners on second and third. Oops. Second and third, and Trzuski up to bat. 23 is probably not going to do it. A 23 is a 26. 26 is right to Canoop at second base. He's a 1, and sure enough, of course, the infield was deep because uh, it was two outs, so it's out at first on a grounder to second. Three outs and the Tigers can't score. Five to three after six.